Rutherford's model of the atom. Rutherford overturned Thomson's atom model in 1911 with his well-known gold foil experiment in which he demonstrated that the atom has a tiny, massive nucleus. Rutherford designed an experiment to use the alpha particles emitted by a radioactive elements probes means analyze to the unseen world of atomic structure. Rutherford's scattering experiment. His experiment looked like the diagram given. Rutherford beamed alpha particles, that is, doubly charged helium ions through gold foil and detected them as flashes of light or scintillations means flashes of light on a screen. When alpha particles collide on the screen, it scintillates. The gold foil was only 0.00004 cm thick, meaning a few hundreds of atoms thick. He expected the alpha particles to pass through with relatively little deflection and strike the fluorescent screen directly behind the foil. Difference in the predicted and observed results. Observations of Rutherford's model of the atom. Rutherford was expecting some different observations, but actually he noticed the following observations. Most alpha particles passed straight through the gold foil. Some of the particles deviated, means diverged, at small angles. A few were scattered at large angles. Very few bounced back towards the source. Rutherford's theory of an atom. Using these observations, Rutherford formulated the theory of an atom. He put forward the nuclear model of an atom, which had the following features. 1. An atom has a tiny, dense, positively charged core called a nucleus, in which nearly all the mass is concentrated. 2. The light, negative constituents, called electrons, revolve around the nucleus in parts called orbits. This is much like a solar system where planets revolve around the sun. Limitations of Rutherford's Model Rutherford's discovery contributed in the modern science. Scientists started to realize that the atom is not ultimately a single particle but is made up of far smaller subatomic particles. They discovered that atoms have a positively charged nucleus in the center. Later, scientists found the expected number of electrons, that is, the same as the atomic number, in an atom by using X-rays. But still, there were few things which Rutherford's model was unable to explain. These limitations are, it could not explain how the moving electron would remain in its orbit, especially when it was a charged particle, and therefore it would accelerate means speed up due to its movement, finally moving closer to the nucleus and drop into it. The atom would not be stable, which in turn would mean that matter would not be composed of unstable means unbalanced atoms.